Welcome back to Odds of War. My name is Matt, and today we're doing another hobby video. Before we get into it, please remember do like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. We are excruciatingly close to a thousand subscribers. I'd really like to hit that shortly. We thank you for it. So today, in, in today's video, what we're doing is we're speed painting uh, a group of Gretchen. I wanted to do this video because this is a great technique uh, if you are rushing to get a kill team together for perhaps a tournament or even just get them table ready for your local game night and you don't want to show up with great plastic models. It's really quick. Uh, all told, I think it's going to take, uh, oh, I don't know, maybe about a half hour to do these 10 models. And uh, I'm just going to demonstrate the technique and we'll talk about it more as we go. All right, let's get into it. First, to start us off, of course, I've built and primed these Gretchen. Now these Gretchen are primed in white. You can uh, actually use any light color primer to use this technique. You just don't want to use anything like black or a dark dark gray, but anything white, uh, like an off-white, like a light bone color, or even a light gray will work here. And you'll see uh, I'm immediately going straight to the shades, like the Citadel washes. Uh, that's because that's why we've primed it white. We're just going straight to the washes. This is the, the big time-saving step for this, is that we're skipping the base coat altogether. Okay, obviously this cuts out a lot of our painting time, waiting for paints to dry, having to thin those paints and everything, and because the shades, of course, do contain pigment, they will get color onto the model, and we're priming white so that that way we get the brightest color there. So we're starting off with... Uh, Beal tan green for our skin. Of course, though, you can use any uh, of your colors. This doesn't just work for Gretchen, although I will say it works best for uh, natural, sort of, so to speak, uh, models. So um, things with skin and flesh. Uh, it does work for armored models like Space Marines. Uh, you just have to do the final step a bit more, which we'll get to later. Just to break it down really quick, what we're going to be doing is hitting everything with a wash in different areas, and then we're going to go back over and dry brush, and it's going to be a very quick process, uh, very easy. So we're starting off with the uh, Beal Tan Green there for it, and we're just going to clear all that. And we're going to do this in a batch painting style, so you'll see I have 10 Gretchen here. We're going to start off with one, and we're just going to paint all of them, hit all the skin with green. Next up, we're going to go into Cassandora Yellow. Now, I'm using this. Obviously, my orcs are Bad Moons. Uh, also, I do have a contingent of Evil Suns uh, for full 40k. But uh, these are going to be... Uh, Scratch and, of course, are not really clean aligned total um, as far as all the rules go. But So I want them to have a little bit of yellow and a little bit of red on them. So we're going to be doing the yellow first, the Cassandora Yellow. Again, a wash goes on top of the white, the color comes out, uh, it already does the shading aspect for you, so in the crevices, in the recesses, you're going to get the shading at the, at the most, uh, uh, the highest parts of the model, you're going to get that color dropping off. Really simple process, again, um, no time at all, very little effort. The only thing I will say, a tip about this, is do try to have good brush control. You'll see if you're paying attention as I'm brushing, there's a couple spots where I end up splashing some green on some areas, splashing some yellow on some areas that aren't supposed to be that. And you'll see there it does muddle the colors a little bit. Of course, this technique is not going to be winning you any painting competitions anytime soon, but for getting just your sort of three color standard, um, on your models and getting them tabletop ready. It's an excellent way. Also, if you're just throwing together a quick kill team for fun and you're not looking to uh, have them be, you know, hashtag pro painted, uh, this is a great time saving uh, method just to like get things going. After the Cassandra Yellow, we're going to go into Caroberg Crimson. That's just going to give me my red. I, I like to use this red because it's a deeper red and uh, it flows really nicely. So you'll see as I hit on different parts of the models, and I'm only doing sort of accent colors with this. You'll see as I hit different parts of, of the Gretchen, it really goes from that deep red up into that bright white. Uh, it flows really nicely, so you get a little pinkish tinge on the white, and then it goes down into that dark red. And again, we're just hitting the uh, just a couple accent spots, like a hair, um, a head wrap, that sort of thing. 
So really quick, we're just touching uh, with some Seraphim Sepia just onto this uh, one guy's like bone helmet. And then we're going into Drakenhof Nightshade now for all of our metals. Now I like Drakenhof Nightshade for this application because you can use something like Nuln Oil, but I think this turns out with a really nice blue steel effect, which you'll see coming up in just a little bit when we finish. And this is also, you can sort of see it's all coming together now. You can actually, you could just leave if you're just, uh, if you're just looking to get these models to a three color minimum and you don't care any more past this, you could base them at this point and boom, you're ready to go out the door. And it's taken you maybe all of 20 minutes to do this. Uh, but we, once we finish this step, we are gonna take it one step further with some dry brushing. And I'll show you that when we come right back. All right, so in this next step, I'm not going to be doing uh, each and every Gretchen this way because I just want to be able to show you the effects of the dry brush. So we're going to start off using some Necron Compound, which is a, uh, a technical paint, uh, I guess you call it, from uh, Games Workshop. It is, a, it is a paint specifically made for dry brushing, so it has less water in there. Of course, we'll load up our brush, wipe it off on some uh, paper towel, and then we'll go to town dry brushing the metal on these models. Now, I'm only going to do a few. That way I can show you some comparison pictures of the dry brushed metal effect versus ones that aren't dry brushed. And, uh, and then we'll, we'll see that in just a minute here. So you just go over that with your dry brush. Then we're also going to go ahead and break out Scarsnick Green, which is personally what I use for Orc Skin uh, as one of my colors. And we'll just dry brush that on a couple. Again, not doing all of them, just doing a few so that you can see the difference between the dry brushed and the not to decide if it's worth it for you. And then lastly, uh, I'll bust out some Warpstone Glow to do a few of these guys. Uh, again, just so you can see some variations of different greens so you can sort of see what this will get you if you're doing it. All right, and there you have it. That's all of them done. So let's look at some pictures here comparing. Uh, first up, we'll put up, uh, here's just some of the models, just washes only, no dry brushing. And here's our dry brushed models with the metal and a comparison picture of the metal dry brushing versus just the Drakenhof blue for you. And a comparison picture here of uh, our dry brushed Skarsnick green, our Warpstone glow dry brush and no dry brush at all, just washes again. So there you go, guys. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. That's sort of it. Any questions you have about this technique, uh, you can leave down in the comments below. Like I said, it does work really for any model. It's just how much of the dry brushing you have to do uh, to start off with that. Or highlighting, you could even do some quick highlights here and there. Um, but like I said, it does work best on sort of fleshy models like uh, if you are playing orcs of course it works very nicely if you're maybe playing death guard and you're doing some pox walkers works great there if you're playing uh, any sort of demons uh, pink horrors that sort of thing uh, blood letters they works beautifully on models like that and uh, of course tyranids it's like a dream for uh, so I hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, leave any comments, uh, any questions you have down in the comments below and make sure to please hit that like button if you did enjoy this. Uh, this is only really the second hobby video we've done. So if you have any feedback for us, please leave it also down in the comments below. And if you want to see these videos in your feed every week, make sure to hit that subscribe button, which you can do so on the screen right now. If you want to see our last hobby video, you can hit that other button uh, on the side there and uh, we'll hope to see you next week. Bye.